What up, the homies on home? This is your homeboy, Grand Tizzle, and we are back for a follow-up for the Deluxe Party Flyers tutorial. And I promise you guys, I will show you how I apply my lights. I don't do it like this all the time, but you really get real dynamic lighting when you actually use uh, After Effects to apply your lighting. And uh, I'll tell you the plugins and everything like that I use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as... A, um, a JPEG file and uh, we'll just call this party flyer and we'll save it uh, here let's see save it as a PNG just because everything else is alright and uh, let's open up uh, After Effects and um, let's import that particular file in here Where the heck you at, boy? Where is that file at, man? Is it over here? Yeah, there. Graphic design. Boom. Oh, that's the hair tutorial. Hold on, fam. All right, I found it, y'all. All right, so let me drag this into the comp, and that way we have the comp, the actual comp size. Now we're not trying to make no movie or nothing like that. We're only using this because the way the effect works, um, you can't. You're not. It's not. You're not able to duplicate that same particular. The way it's responding. So that's what the reason why I like to uh, do some of the effects in uh, After Effects. And this is just kind of like a you know a pro tip here. So with that, let's go to Video Copilot and we're going to use Optical Flares. And now we got the flare. And what's cool is that the flare is going to act like a real light. And that's that's what, a, what I'm really trying to crap, capture. So let's go to our um, modes. And uh, we we'll change it to color dodge, not color dodge. Let's change it to screen. So now we have this light. And now when we, when we kind of place the light, let me zoom in a little bit. Now, fam, when we place the light, it's really acting like a a real light. A real light. <laughs> All right, so um, let's hit options, and we're going to kind of play around with some presets so we can get something going on here. So first, let's change. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll keep that. But uh, let's let's see where we're going to place the light. Then we're going to change the you know the frequencies and things like that according to where I'm trying to place it. So right now we're going to place a little red light here. So let's move this up here. And um, now let's go to the options and kind of toy around a little with a few things. Um, so far so good. Uh, let's see if it's a few other things that we can use. That, Maybe this, kind of like that there. Alright. Let's see how it acts like a real light. And uh, let's change the color to red. Okay. And let's, you know, let's scale it down. We got to do some adjusting. You got to adjust it, things like that. Turn down the scale, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be, whatever you're trying to do. Maybe you put it back there. I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to do. There's a lot going on here. So, we don't want too much. We don't want it to wash too much, but we do want it there. So, you got to kind of play around with the brightness a little bit. That's cool. Matter of fact, let's see how it look down here. That look even better, don't it? Because you see more of this sparkle. It looks sweeter, don't it? All right. Uh, now let's do this. Let's select it. Hold Control D, and you make another copy. And then let's take this copy and let's move it somewhere else. Now we don't want to take the power away from this, right? So what we do with these other ones is we make them not so significant. Let's 
look at the colors it's using here. Maybe we'll change the color that we're using. Um, let's change that. Let's change the global color of that to like a um, purple. Maybe. Change that to a purple. That's kind of cool. Is it cool? Boom. Now, again, fam, I like to use this because you're not... Oh, let me put some lines on that. You're not going to get that look in Photoshop. You're just not. You know, you can you can try things. You know, I mean, you, you, you'll come close, but, you know, the, just the way it's treating itself and the way it's working, you're just not going to. That's awesome. Look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. And let's add some lights up there. Um... Let's just add another standard light. So let's do a solid. And let's just do the optical flare effect. Let's change this mode to screen. And let's just put them little places. Right? And what's sweet, fam, is that now we're gonna change we're gonna I'm gonna do something, fam. I'm I'm gonna change the I'm gonna make create an adjustment layer. Yeah, that's a nice little shine. I'm gonna change the adjustment layer so that the the lighting won't wash out everything. Let me, let me show you what I'm gonna do real quick. We're gonna create new and we're gonna go to an adjustment layer. And what I'm gonna do with the adjustment layer is apply. Uh, uh, here, let me shrink that down. Here, I'm gonna shrink this to 100. Hit 100. I'm gonna on this adjustment layer. We're going to go to effect color correction and we're going to do a levels and I'm going to adjust the levels you see how it kind of make it, makes it more punchy we still got the light but it's not washing out the the artwork you see and here's the before it's washed out and here's the after boom it's look nice so we can add our lights and we, we don't have to worry about it being too washed out. Washed out. Man, where the heck I come from, mom? Mars? Washed out. All right, so uh, let's see. We got this light here. And um, let's make sure we're putting it at the right place. And I like, you see the way it's beaming down there? It really gives a real, true, realistic lighting effect. I like that. So let's keep that. Keep it there. Control D. Make another copy. Shoot, might even keep it like I'm gonna keep it like that. Make another copy. And drag that copy somewhere else. You see? Boom. I like that. It's nice. It really looked like some things going on. I'm, but you know what I'm gonna do, fam? I'm gonna change that blue. So let's. Let's look at this, and let's go in the op here. We ain't got to go into options. We can just go right there. Change it blue. That's pretty. Look at that. Disco. I want to go to the club. Nah, man. I want to go where she going to be, man. All right, fam. And um, we'll go back to the adjustment layers. Make sure that, um, you know, you crush those those contrasting lights and it looked pretty good I, I believe it looked pretty good I, I think so I, I could be wrong but uh, I think it's nice let's fit it 100% and that's what I like to do fam that's how I like to add my lights it's real easy it's not a whole lot of tricks and you know things like that you can do you just go in there I can add more lights in there if I want, but I'm going to have to turn down, the, you know, the brightness and things like that. But I think it looked pretty good. So, anyway, that's a cool way, fam, how you can um, utilize some of the tools in Photoshop and in uh, After Effects. And we're going to export that out, and boom, there you go. You have a nice flyer with really realistic lens flares and, and lights and things like that. And it looked really good, really, really nice. So, make sure you guys subscribe. You want to see more of this because I got so much more of this. I'm going to teach you how to do album covers, 
DVD covers, web designs, everything. So make sure you uh, sign up, subscribe, support your homie Grand Tizzle by passing the stuff. And if you're interested, you want to get into some deep sessions, make sure you log into my graphic design website where you can um, purchase and download advanced sessions. It's your homeboy Grand Tizzle, and I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you when I spin it, and I hope you benefited from this. I'm gone. I'm about to play Call of Duty. See ya.